hello everyone um we got a quick little video here i know we're not live crazy this is i think our first non-live video since our challengers review so been a minute um but the gold derby odds just dropped i believe yesterday um so i thought that would be a fun little quick video idea look at the odds see what the people uh, are thinking are the big oscar contenders for this upcoming season just for the top eight i think categories let's see i have not looked at these yet so without further ado jump into these odds so now, we should clarify that i think part of what we're going to have to deduce when we look at this um through till december really is that movies that have come out will always take precedent not only because mm -hmm. we've seen them and they're quantifiable, but because some people take what I call the, the, the Ann Thompson uh, method, because she, um, I know that she infamously, she does this. And I respect it, even though we'll never be able to do it for the, for the means of this no. channel, which is that no. some people don't put, don't make a prediction unless they've seen the movie. And mm -hmm. so that's how like in 2018 for that season, Black Klansman was ahead to win best picture for a longer time just because it was an august release and it was the only movie that people felt confident in that's just something to keep in mind you know just looking at doom part two in this number two position i would be surprised if it stayed there the entire season but it makes sense right now that that's why dune is there yeah i don't think it will challenge for a win in best picture but i think it's at least right now at this time of year like at least number two because we've like you said all seen it um yeah and as well with sing sing which is i think most people's number one like mm -hmm. some people a lot lots of people saw it at festivals yeah lots of buzz around it i will say on um, dune so that, that makes sense for the i think it's interesting uh warner brothers just dated dune messiah or they might call it dune part three we'll see um against star wars well what i found compelling is they're giving it that december blockbuster release date mm -hmm. which makes me think they're really trying to they're going to push this for awards. They're going to want it to be fresh in your mind. It's going. To, it's yeah. basically the same release date as Lord of the Rings: Return of the King. So mm -hmm. I found that very interesting. Is anything surprising you on this list so far? Um, I guess we can talk about Blitz, which um, is number three here. Which I would personally say is a little high. It's still a little bit of an unknown thing to me. We got a little more news about it. It's premiering at the London Film Festival, I believe, which mm -hmm. some people said was like a bad thing. Um, but I think that's probably more because the film takes place in London and it has a lot to do with the London story. Um, still, I I can't recall any films that debuted at the London Film Festival and were big Oscar contenders, but. Um, I don't think it needs to. Steve McQueen makes consistently good enough films. I don't doubt that this will be a good film. Um, so I, it'll be a good film no matter what, whether or not it's a contender. We'll have to wait and see. I think right now it's a pretty safe one to put in there, though. Yeah. I, I think that when you're looking at the rest of this list, um, you know, aside from Gladiator, which of course has a lot of question marks around, um, though maybe a few, uh, a few less. Questions I'm a big believer. After I'll put it in there. Days, um, uh, I forget which magazine. Was it Empire, Variety, Vanity One. Fair? I think it was Vanity Fair. Yeah. Um, you know, we're, we're getting a little taste of it. Um, but I think other than that, you know, Blitz is probably the only film coming from an Academy Award winning filmmaker, as, as far as one that has been able, a, a film, a filmmaker that's won Best Picture, um, with Steve McQueen. And well, yes, yeah, and Gladiator, yeah. So th that's why, and Gladiator is, you know, a sequel, it's, it's a little, it's a little bit different. So I can understand why Blitz is a little higher, um, but we'll mm -hmm. see, um, it will have a sort of truncated release strategy as reported today, it's going to be in theaters. Mm -hmm. Select theaters, I think, for two weeks, and then it'll go to um, Apple TV Plus for the Thanksgiving holiday. Which is also a little weird, because there are other previous contenders they gave, like, full theatrical releases to. So, yeah. I don't know. There's still I, lots of question marks. I, I dare you to find a theater that was playing Coda. <laughs> it was... It That's was, true, but that was more... I don't think they believed in that uh, as much yeah. until later on in the awards season. We'll see. Um, I don't know if that that might be strategy or it might just be that they overspent themselves with Napoleon, Argyle, and Killers of the Flower Moon. True. Um, yeah, other than this, um, listen, I think that three sequels might be a little bit too much. Um, I, agree. I think That's why I, I don't have one of them. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a big question mark. Gladiator will be the last to come out. So it could either benefit from being the freshest 
Um, you know, I could see a world where Dune doesn't make it in, in the same way that everybody was predicting Dune as the so. director, and then the first one, and then Denis misses, even though you know we all thought that was a shoe in. Because if Joker and Gladiator are more recent and doing more interesting original things, and people just oh, Dune is being Dune, I think that could get forgotten for the newer. I mean, we've seen it all the time where the newer mm -hmm. favorites, you know, distract people. Uh, I think what you're having resistance for, I would imagine, is you just don't think Joker is going to be as good as everybody I, else seems to think it is. I don't personally think that, but I also think even if it is, I think there's probably enough room for all three. I mean, I personally, as a UC, I will pop it in here, maybe not number four, but I believe in Gladiator too. I, I think those pictures looked great. I think when Ridley Scott is like truly doing good, he really does good as we probably last time we saw it was like with the Martian. Martian. Um, yeah, it's been a little, little we're overdue for a great Ridley Scott film. Um, the pictures looked great. I mean, look at Denzel Washington and that. I think it's going to make a lot of money. Um, so I personally have a lot hey, of faith. Hey, listen, Glickit is upon us. We didn't think we were getting another Barbenheimer, and here we go. <laughs> we're getting one every year now. Every oh, studio is going to try and try and make it. Good double features. Um, yeah, I think, listen, Anora, Amelia Perez, those were definitely can hits. Um, yeah. I think we're going to have to I see how both of those. Um, but I think for now it makes sense. Conclave That's again. Neon's big pick and mm -hmm. um, Netflix's big pick currently. And yeah. as you said, Conclave is now Focus's big pick. Yeah. So um, it makes sense for all of those to be in there. And Focus is a good campaigner. Um, they just did obviously the holdovers um, very well. Um, yeah. And I think Conclave will appeal more to the older. De like this feels very young. It's it feels trending young. Even something like Gladiator given that cast seems like it's trying to appeal to a younger demographic. That might be the benefit of Gladiator. And that's the thing I feel with Gladiator and with Joker is that Joker seems to be applying a sort of classic film movie musical approach to that story. And Gladiator, I think is, is going to be like Hollywood mega, you know, mega hits from like the fifties and sixties sort of vibe that the first one had, you know, echoing yeah. back to the days of like David Lean and, you know, William Wyler. And so that is why I think those sequels will benefit, but you could say that Dune part two also has that grandeur, that, that epic scope. Um, we'll see. Um, I tend to think that science fiction is probably lower down than musicals and like, like even like the sort of historical epics. So that's the other knock against yeah. it. Um, we'll see. Um, other than that, um, I don't know. So if we're going to 10, just put Joker in just for now. Just, I just want to see, cause that's I guess, um, right. We're not, we're not messing in. Notice, noticeably missing for some reason. It seems like queer is not, unless it's super low down. I don't think there's queer no queer, but they got here. <laughs> they've got queer. They've got here. They've got the idea of you, <laughs> I guess. For some reason, um, interesting choices and not having queer. And maybe they know something we don't, but. I, I used to think I, the 101 okay. odds meant that one person put it on their list or it wouldn't no. be there. Um, no. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. Um, yeah, other than that, I'm trying to think. I mean, you're you're high I on the number bitch. two. Um, oh, it, oh, yeah, true. We did it. <laughs> that's the time. <tiny. laughs> Even though I don't, I wouldn't have, I, instead of joker i'd probably have queer in there or the nickel boys i mean we're still waiting on distribution for queer right yeah and yeah. also I, I did not see um maria in here as well which i think is also waiting maybe they don't put movies that don't have distribution in here yeah. seems like all of these have distribution um yeah they all do yeah i will say go go up go up go up go up mm -hmm. just trying to okay. see Fine. Is Amelia Perez? Is Amelia Amelia Perez? Is is that an American film? Uh, it's I believe a French and Mexican production. I think France right. will be so submitting. It's, just, it's not very English. <laughs> um, yes, it's a uh, it's. I don't think most or any of it's in English. I think it's in um, French mm -hmm. and Spanish for the most part. So. Um, that's really our only international contender I see here. Some people still believe in the seat of the sacred fig. We'll have to wait and see. I just think that that movie Neon will be prioritizing Honora, so that might fall behind. Yeah. Um, and then I think piano lesson. I don't have a lot of faith in being anything besides an acting contender. I don't know if it's going to be anything beyond that. 
I really want to know because again, I'm as big as a fan as they come. Why it's this high? Why Wicked is that high? Um, I don't know. Ariana Grande fans. We'll see. I mean, listen, I, I would love it because I I love that show. I love that story, and it is you know another. I just feel like Joker's going to steal all its thunder because I it would be it would be weird to for me to see two fantasy big budget musicals get into the top 10 um yeah so we'll see um interesting yeah other than that i mean if you want to just do a quick scroll to the bottom i don't see too many others yeah here. i guess a real pain i personally still don't believe in but i guess if other searchlight stuff doesn't come about um if they don't either i think if night bitch is not their push then they have to by distribution for another film i don't think it will be a real it's thing a little too small it's um, it is too small but we'll um, see we'll here see. in their screenplay maybe same with hard truths probably a little too small that's surprisingly high um mm -hmm. but i guess mike lee good filmmaker room next door i would maybe have a little bit higher um pedro julian moore tilda swinton his first english language film uh, I, I think it's that. sony's I big push that. this year so i could see it yeah uh, we live in time. I don't know about that. That's that Andrew Garfield, Florence Pugh romance. Probably not. As I said, I believe in Juror number two. I think it's going to be good, but that is a yeah, wild card right now. As you can see, the photo here, there's not a single still of it, just a photo of Clint Eastwood. Um, so, <laughs> in the we'll Venn see. diagram of Clint Eastwood fans and Twinks, you're the only one that's right down the middle. <laughs> <I'm>, well, <laughs> I'm. And then Challengers, I, I would love it, but. I don't know. I don't think so. Here, yeah, I guess the trailer, came, the trailer came out for sure. Trailer's here. I don't know why that's why that's the photo. Yeah. I want to see what's the last movie on this list. The very last one is One Life. Didn't that come out last year? No. Well, it it came out in theaters in I think early like March maybe. Okay. Yeah, some of interesting. These... I remember you talking about Parthenope. Um. Yeah, that got okay. bad reviews that um can. Oh, okay. Space Man. You're going on oh, Tuesday. The Book of Clarence. Yeah, Young Woman in the Sea. Arnaiad. <laughs> premiering at Venice. I know, I saw that. That that's opening film. Interesting. Uh, I mean I would uh, yeah, I, I saw the TV Glow would be an instant nominee and so far winner for me, but alas, yeah. you know unfortunately will not happen i love thelma loves to see it oh well, you never know um, you know listen emma stone's a producer she could get behind it if she feels yeah. nothing else is gonna go her way um this I season i think his three daughters could maybe get a uh, natasha leone acting nom fire inside is that boxing movie that barry jenkins um wrote rachel morrison directing oh, ryan yeah. tyree henry as the coach they moved it to december it could be something i think it might like to be debut at tiff or something so We'll see about that. And then um, I think we should mention it because uh, it is doing incredible business. The first one didn't get nominated, but there is a likelihood that it might have been in in a year of a Force 10. Yeah. Uh, Inside Act 2 could, because I do think it's do you ever look the at someone and wonder Pixar what is going on inside their head? Um, it's going to be their highest grossing film. So, yeah. Yeah. So I think it's possible. Uh, probably. I still just do think it's going to struggle. I don't think it'll get into Best Picture because... I just don't think it, I think you kind of, for an animated film and to get in, kind of need to be doing something groundbreaking, which I don't think it does either animation-wise or story-wise. I think the story, I like the film, but I think the story is maybe pretty similar structure-wise yeah. to the first one. Um, so I think it might honestly even struggle to win animated feature. Um, well, what regards. do you think is going up against it? I don't know, honestly. We've got um, The Wild Robot, which was somewhere on this list. The Wild <laughs> Robot. Um, there's the lord of the rings anime movie there was a few films animated films from can i think if that, like, if that hits in the same way spider verse hit as far as surprising you with this ip and doing this cool animation style i could see lord of the rings um, um yeah, this is a that. category we haven't really talked about much um steve mcqueen at number one is interesting i don't know he hasn't won an oscar so i guess if this is a big contender it could, that could be the narrative um sean baker obviously makes sense he's going to be our can director pick Edward Berger for Conclave. I probably wouldn't have him in there because I don't know if I have that much faith in it being like a top five movie. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll throw 
these two in there and Denis. I think he'll still get nominated. I think it's too much of a tech contender and there's too much there was too much buzz around him missing the first time. And there's not enough huge competition here for me to think he's gonna miss, honestly. I have um, a fun pick for who I think is the number one. Do you just think it's Todd Phillips or something? No, I do not think it's Todd Phillips. Okay. Okay, um, good. I think well first off I should say I think Sean Baker I think Sean Baker is starting is really growing in his platform and I think people just he's becoming more and more beloved so he could win um there's somebody on this list who doesn't have an Oscar who you think probably does oh Ridley Scott if it delivers I think he could I think totally I think he totally could you know I'll throw him in there why not um yeah, he. You would think he had an Oscar. You'd think he would have gotten it with the first Gladiator, and now it's the second one. Um, and he doesn't have a ton of movies left, probably. I guess you could have a similar narrative to, um, where is he? Clint Eastwood, but he's already got an Oscar. He's but, got him. Um, <laughs> this is his final um yeah. film per se. Um. So yeah, I would put Ridley, and I also think Jack, um, not Jack, Jacques Rodillard. Um, for Amelia Perez could also I mean, be our international the, and can director. Where are the women on this list? Mariel Heller and who there's else? not Mariel Heller is really our only chance right now at a female nomination. Jeez, that's depressing. Yeah, not. Oh and my then God. I don't think the substance is going to happen awards wise. Um, yeah, not a t Andrea Arnold is not going to happen for Bird. We'll see. Uh, I mean, Baby Girl, we'll see. Sam Taylor Johnson is definitely not happening for Back to Black. So yeah, All right. I don't think. What's next? I don't think so. There. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for that category. We pretty much covered it all. Um, yeah. Let us once again no queer here. Maybe I would have Luca for queer instead of challengers, but we'll see. Um, now we've got this fun category. Number. She's becoming the popular pick. Dang it, I thought we were going to be special. Uh, <laughs> make yeah. Your money now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make your money now. Um, I agree with that. I agree with Mikey Madison as well. Um, sure. I would also have Carla, um, Lady Gaga. Maybe, maybe I wouldn't have Lady. Where is... Um, I feel there's like there's some... someone missing here. You don't want to do Sersha? Maybe. I guess we can do Sersha. But where's Angelina? Oh, wait. Yeah, they don't have Maria in any of the categories. Mm -hmm. For some reason so i wouldn't have one of these yeah. two instead of angelina and then i love how high june squib is for thelma that's yeah. great you're starting to see how predictable this list becomes when everybody who's voting haven't seen the movies <laughs> yeah. yeah like exactly. we all tend Actually, to on the top five for odd wise i'm gonna drop lady gaga and i'm gonna pick up tilda swinton for a room next door Interesting that they have Natasha Leone as lead for his three daughters. I think they'll run her in supporting. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Who knows? Robin Wright for here. Maybe. She's playing a whole age range there um, from young to dementia. So who knows? <laughs> young to dementia. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I don't see it. Uh, you mentioned Nicole Kidman for Baby Girl. Yeah, but that's uh, Ryan Destiny. Uh, all right. Uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Now, actor. Yeah. Uh, once again, no queer here. So, no dead, no Craig to put in. But yeah, Coleman makes sense. Ray Fines makes oh, sense. Oh, what did I tell you? Come on. Do it. What? Paul Mescal. Told you. I, I have put him in my five. I've put him in my five. Especially because, um, what's his name? Joseph Quinn, who's in the film, said that Paul Mescal is doing a lot of dramatic stuff in an interview for A Quiet Place. So, yeah. I don't know. And um, what's it, Russell? didn't Russell Crowe win for Gladiator? That's, yeah. That was my so reason. I, I was like, if the first one wins, in the, it's got to be a similar role. That's just as me. But it's a different actor this time, unlike Joaquin Phoenix, where yeah. previously won, but it's the same guy. But, I mean, without Daniel Craig, I do think Joaquin Phoenix is your number five. <laughs> Probably because I have Nicholas because I'm a juror number two believer. I have Nicholas Holt in there. I think that's a juicy role. Yeah. Um. And yeah, I guess Walking Phoenix would make sense as the other one. This is a really barren category, honestly, this year so far because I don't think John David Washington is going to get in. I don't think a different man's going to be something. I don't think Kinds of Kindness is. I mean, maybe a lone nomination if everyone really loves Jesse Plemons that much this year. 
but I don't know. Yeah, I think he's her. I really enjoyed the film, but I think the best his best part is the first part, and mm-hmm. so I think well, that's you, good. It is. It's you, you're introduced with him, but I do think yeah. like the weirdness of the film and the obliqueness, I, I think, will not help him with a Academy voting. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I would do Joaquin. Well, I, should, I should probably just put Joaquin in. Um, I love that your two faves aren't here, which means you have to admit that Joker is. I have to. I have to put him in there. I wonder who's at the bottom here. Kevin Costner for Horizon. Yep. Okay. Chapter two. Where's Kevin Costner for Horizon Chapter One? Oh, that was Chapter Two. Yeah, that's Chapter oh, Two. There we go. And I have fast eyes. Yeah, Chapter One. Interesting. Nicholas Galaxy <laughs> for the idea of you. Yeah. <laughs> they Gold Derby for some reason like really loves some Emmy films. And just contention. puts them. In. That's surprising. I thought that would be like a best um, TV movie. Thing. You would think, but maybe I think they did put it in some theaters, and maybe because it's Anne Hathaway, they'll try for like a Golden Globe or something. I, I think well, that's that's your top five at least of right now. I think that's a very strong top for five. Supporting actress. Um. Yeah, I would have Tony number one. I definitely have Daniel Deadweiler. I guess if they're putting Zoe Saldana in supporting, which we don't completely know yet, but if they are, I would put her in. Um, I agree Julie. with Isabella Rossellini. And uh, I'd probably do Julian Moore instead of Anjanou Ellis Taylor, to be honest. Just remember what happened with May, December. We all thought. I did, I know. But Pedro Almodovar is good at getting his um, actors in. in Who's the bottom of this? I just have more faith in those performances. Um, also, Selena Gomez could happen. Uh, I think oh, uh, so, Michelle Yeoh could. Because it's a. It's yes. A I think Natasha Leone is going to be in this category. For some reason, they have the other, uh, Carrie Coon and Elizabeth Olsen over here. Um, so I would probably have her in here somewhere. Who's the bottom? Um, I want to see what's the bottom of the list. Let's see. Horizon. <laughs> Horizon's consistently at the bottom. Um, yeah, that makes sense. It's oh, got for, for, for six triple eight, whatever that is. Um, okay, yeah. Interesting. This is also a category that doesn't have a ton of options, honestly. Um, yeah. I'm just okay. looking through it. So, yeah, I think that's pretty... Oh, also, Connie Nielsen. Maybe. Maybe. If Gladiator 2 is huge. We'll have to see what kind of role they give her. Um, Here we go. I would not have Sam Jackson winning right now, just because I think that film needs to be in Best Picture for him to win, honestly. Um, and I don't think it will be, but we'll see. I would have him getting nominated. I have him in there. I think he he's strong. The issue with performances, the the reason why you want to be a Best Picture nominee is because you want people to have seen the movie and you want to bring attention to yourself. Samuel Jackson is the highest grossing actor, what of all time? Like he doesn't need to bring attention to himself. Yeah. And I think if the narrative gets out there, and also this is a play adaptation, so I'm sure there's a one scene clip, much like there was for Viola Davis. Oh, and Francis, there's definitely the clip out. And show it to everybody, and right under that clip, you put the blurb. By the way, he's never won an official acting Oscar. He has an honorary one. This is the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think this is. I, I will have him. Yeah. I, I will have him at one until I am forced otherwise. <laughs> I'm not going with that right now, but I mean, it could be similar. I think we talked about this last time. The last supporting actor winner that won without the film being in Best Picture was Christopher Plummer, which could be a similar. And overdue, narrative to it. And overdue Oscar. Overdue older actor, yeah. So it could be similar. Um, I could definitely see that. And um, overdue movie star, like uh, Christopher Plummer, was in one of the mm-hmm. top three highest grossing movies of all time. Like it, he's a beloved figure, and this was finally the chance to give it to him. So this won't. Be it makes a, sense. Yeah. I just need the film to at least be good enough. Like Fences was good enough, but it was directed by Denzel Washington. This is directed by his son, I believe, who doesn't have like a ton on his track record. So we'll have to see. Wait, John David Washington directed this? No, his other son, Malcolm oh. Washington, I think, is the director. <laughs> yes, but John is in it. <laughs> this is a whole Washington affair going on here that pretty much everyone's involved. Um, I'd put one of the Conclave guys in. I have more faith in John Lithgow. Not Jonathan, as some people pointed out. I said Jonathan in the last video. He's just John. He's just John. Um, I'd have him in there. He's I don't. Karen Culkin is very high. He's just John. Well, people very love high. Him. some people have seen it. You know, I've seen it. I just once again, I, I think he's doing middle class Roman Roy, but that won him an Emmy. So who knows? Um, Searchlight, if they really push for it, it's a showy enough performance that I could see it. 
but I don't know. I think there might be more performances in films that are more seen and in Best Picture with like Conclave, Sing Sing, Gladiator, other. The only two that I would put in right now. That could be one of your. I forget if we had one um, last year, but that could be a. a we a, did not a, get one last year. The double supporting nom. Yeah. I definitely put Denzel in there. Mm -hmm. um, and since queer isn't in any of these options, we can't put True Starkey in, unfortunately. Um, Mr. Stanley. I can't, can't do Stanley. Queer, Let's see what other options. If, if you can't get somebody queer, Stanley Tucci is close <laughs> enough. Get someone close enough, yeah. <laughs> um, he was in Devil Wears Prada. Uh, and the Hunger Games. <laughs> and the Hunger Games, this is true. And he was very fashionable in both. Um, if I could maybe... pansexual, I will die on that hill. Oh, for sure. <laughs> um, I could maybe put Brian Tyree Henry in as yeah, the coach, his coaching the role. Since he's 101, I'll throw him in there. Um, I also think J.K. Simmons for juror number two. We'll mm -hmm. have to see. I think he's a fellow juror. Um, he got in for being the Ricardos, so if this is a contender, he could somehow get in. Um, they love him. Um, other than that, I don't think that any Dune actors are happening. Um, no. Mark That's Eidelstein, it. maybe again, for Nora. Sorry to go back to this. That is, again, the thing I feel like that hurts Dune. Say what you will. I think Joker and Gladiator are have much better chances of getting in the actors, and they do. also the first Joker was nominated for screenplay. I don't know if Gladiator was, but at one Best Picture, Probably. I feel like those. I don't know. I just Dude feel was like, also nominated for screenplay. Yeah, but I don't know. I think we've talked about this. I don't know if the second one is getting the screenplay nomination. Well, we'll get to it. <laughs> I think maybe the next category. We'll see. I think it probably will. And say um, I don't know if Elliot. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who Elliot Heffernan is and why he's so high for Blitz. So we'll have to see. He's above Paris Dickinson, interestingly enough. Higher than um, him. And <laughs> yeah, higher than him. Um, no one else is around. I would love it's for bottom. Josh O'Connor. Who's the bottom? Um, this... Also, Chris Hemsworth is not happening for Furiosa, people. Stop getting behind that. Well, I mean, um, let's see. Her middle of the list. We have at the bottom. Yeah, it was like you're scrolling real slow. There's so many people. Anderson, Anders Dan, Anders Danielson Lee for Mother's Instincts. Interesting. Lots of Mother's Instinct going on down here. Monkey Man, Megalopolis, yeah. And Makes there we go, Horizon. Oh, here's our Horizon people. I want to see what person, just every every category, Horizon, Horizon, Horizon. <laughs> At the bottom. Horizon, Horizon Chapter 2. <laughs> Yeah, Fred Heckinger having a good year with Nickel Boys, Gladiator, and Thelma. So. Yeah, good for him. Right. Um, and Move now on. we can just quickly do those screenplay categories. Is this the this is the Dune category? Um, it's at number five right now. I would definitely have Sing Sing probably winning. Conclave makes sense. Um, I believe in my pitch, so I'll put Why it are in you there. so resistant to the Nickel Boys? You keep overlooking it on every list. I just, I'm not, I'm not resistant. I can totally see it happening. I just don't have as much faith in it as other people seem to have. I'm like, because the source material is so depressing and dour, but it could be one of those depressing and dour films that they label as important. And like him, like, I think it's also Amazon's probably their biggest push. Hey, um, Amazon I don't know. depressing movies that people consider important. May I introduce you to Manchester by the Sea? That's true. That's true. That was um, it's also a first time feature director. So there, he's a little unproven. Romel Ross. Um, he has made some good documentaries, though. We should note. Fences was nominated for this category, and the only person who got the nomination mm -hmm. was August Wilson. So yeah, there is Could precedent. Have um, yeah, Gladiator, Joker. See, yeah, Dune is I, above Gladiator and Joker and screenplay here. Well, it's the one we've seen. I we've think seen, that, yeah. Because it's the yeah. same thing for picture, you know. Even though I think, again, I I think Dune right now is the third most likely to. Yeah, yeah. I think it just it depends well, who leads in the crafts. Right now, Dune is leading in the crafts because it's the one we've seen, and it is impeccable craftsmanship. Once Gladiator two and Joker come out, we're I don't gonna think see... they're going to top Dune though. 
I, we'll I think between the two, I think Gladiator and Joker between the two of them can take away the lead that Dune has. Like the ones where oh, they Dune definitely will benefit. Gladiator will the ones that Gladiator doesn't benefit. Joker will like Joker will benefit in like the music categories, and then Gladiator mm-hmm. can benefit in like production design or sound. You know, we'll, we'll costumes. Sit, you know, that, that's that's where that's why I think it's a it's a it's a really interesting combination because I it's feel a like. Nice- Three horse race. Yeah, it really is. It's, it, it reminds me of a couple of years ago when we had we had four sequels. We had Wakanda Forever, Way of Water, mm-hmm. um, Glass Onion, and Top Gun, and they were all different. You could say Top Gun was the only one that felt different because the other ones were very fantasy genre based, and those three were really yeah. like in it out. And then Wakanda Forever got more individual nominations. Like it got five below the line nominations. Avatar got it's more three, than Avatar. We got Best yeah. Picture. So it's 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 interesting. Yeah. It is, it is. We'll have to see um, how these two films develop. Yeah. Um, and but right now I'm not going to put either. Wakanda Forever won Best Costume Design, and I don't think Avatar won anything. So it's it's an interesting well, thing. Sure. What leads in certain races maybe doesn't always cross over to Best Picture. Um, Avatar did win Visual Effects. That's that is right. That's right. Thank you very much. That's an important one. That's an important right, one. Right. Um, corrected. I think it will always win visual effects. I said I think Dune will probably that's, always. That's win why I feel like Dune and and Avatar like visual effects. It has better. the av- the Avatar fate. It'll win visual yeah. effects. It'll get best picture, and that's probably it. Like Godzilla minus one was such a treat because like oh my god, it's a real race in in, in visual uh, effects. And it, yeah. What an interesting winner! You know, it's like when First Man won. Um, you know, it wasn't it's rare in the visual effects race. It's usually yeah. a front runner. Yeah, the whole season. Um, let's see. What do we? I guess I'll throw Nickel Boys in. I'll I'll yeah. join the nickel hive um and i don't know i don't see anything else here popping out really inside out one did get nominated for original screenplay so there is precedent for that um but i don't know maybe the adverse that's we're throwing in another sequel there um yeah maybe hitman because it's glenn and richard linkletter but I, i don't think that film got seen enough honestly um so i think one of the sequels will get in we just have to know which one I'll I'll do Dune for now as yeah. that spot because we've seen it, so, so we agree with the top five there, I guess. And original screenplay, our final category. Um, I agree. I'd probably have a Nora winning. Maybe this is where they give Sean Baker his Oscar. Yeah. Um, I'd probably have Blitz in too. I don't think I have as much faith in Hard Truths. I would have Amelia Press in because most of these screenplay nominees are going to be in Best Picture, and then one or two won't be. Um. Room next As door. For the people who won't be, I guess, yeah, room next door. And because I have juror number two in best picture, maybe I should put it in screenplay as well. Mm-hmm. I Nothing could see Challengers really. just getting one nomination. Oh, that's true. Where is Challengers? There it is. Oh, Anthony disappeared. Um, well, I guess I can quickly finish this. And now that I don't have Anthony maybe persuading me from not doing this. Oh, here he is. <laughs> disappeared for a second. Um, so what that was maybe it was Clint Eastwood trying to put a pox on. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm afraid that I'm now having to do that. I'm gonna have to commit to both of both of my stands here. Um, Hopefully, it goes better than Nyad. Yeah. Well, Nyad went okay overall. Um, yeah, other than that, I think a real pain maybe could get a screenplay on um, from next door. A real pain sure. to me has to perform at the box office. It's going to have to be. It's not going to. But that's, it's going to need to, even it has to do like an indie level performance. Mm-hmm. It just, it has to amount to something because it's, it's such, a, it's a movie that I feel like you can so easily toss away. Like Jesse Eisenberg's first movie where nobody even remembers, like it was the Finn Wolfhard Julian Moore movie. What was it? This is much better than that. Um, that helps. The world. It's still, like you've got, you've got a, you know, like it has to have at least an eighth grade sort of performance to be remembered, and even the eighth grade yeah. can go all the way. So we'll see. Yeah, I don't have a ton of faith in it, but it seems like some people do. Same with Hard Truth. I don't know. I mean, we don't really know anything about it, but it seems is like your Hard love Truth. You don't think it's going to get nominated? It is. My hard truth is that it's distributed by Bleecker Streak is the hard truth about the film. So I think that might hurt it Oscar wise. Um and I think that's pretty much I don't think Megalopolis is gonna get in kinds of kindness, no. Um so I think that's pretty much it, which then brings us back to Best Picture. We've done it. Bring us back to Do 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 Do. All right. Can we look at what was at the bottom here. Oh well knife, yeah. We've done it. 
when I start we singing, have, you know, we're good. We're done. Yeah, we're, we're good. We have looked at the Gold Derby odds and all that fun stuff. Um, so, yeah. We'll have plenty of other videos coming out soon. We've got some, I guess we can tease, we've got some Emma Stone performance tier list ranking mm-hmm. coming up. Uh, watching, watching some films like House Bunny and other stuff that I have not seen with Emma Stone in it. Um, and so I can be as informed as possible. We've got that. We've got, um, we'll do our Emmy predictions at some point before the nominations. Um, and yeah, we've got our favorites of the year so far, all that fun stuff. Um, so subscribe so you can stay tuned, like the video, comment your thoughts on all the stuff here. I think the main missing stuff was just Queer and Maria. I think everything else is here. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.